If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to 6 o'clock content, yesterday we had a bit of a banger, I loved it, Adele Tarapt, great in game, great SBC, very well priced, it can only mean one thing of course, today we are going to get a very, very overpriced player, or nothing at all, because there's no way EA will give us two good SBCs in a row, now I know a lot of people didn't like Adele Tarapt, and that's fair enough, a lot of people thought, um, he wasn't really good enough, but it was like 30, 40,000 coins for a bit of fun for the people who like him in general and for the people who played FIFA back when he was actually very, very good in this game. So to go into FIFA now and FIFA 20 and the state that it's in and to squeeze a little bit of enjoyment out of it with a player that sort of sends you back to the time you loved playing FIFA, I'm all for it. I like it. To be honest, I hope they do more of this type of thing. And with the second team that we get tomorrow, kind of hoping for some more sort of old school skillers and uh, people with really good weak feet and things like that. But today, we're here to take a look at Whatever they drop. Of course, it's Marquee Matchups Day, Thursday Rewards Day. Uh, I took coins. I'm a freak, I know, but um, I need the money. So let's have a look to see if and what they've dropped today. Uh, well, like I said, I know we're getting Marquee Matchups. That's uh, a thing for every Thursday. Foot 13, throwback Marquee Matchups. It doesn't look like we're going to get a player. Foot 13 is the 84 to 91 rated player. Would be nice if it was just 84 unopen-ended, but, you know, that's fine. It doesn't really rule out too many players. I'm all right with it. We do have an 84 to 91 upgrade, though, so it's kind of like, what's the point? What is the price of the 84 to 91 upgrade, incidentally? 83 rated team with 70 chem. They are now charging for this. And 78 rated team, although a brick slot, so maybe an 80 rated team, but still, it's far cheaper than the repeatable SBC. So, you know, you can look at it from that point of view if you want to. Oh, what's the point in the, having two of them? Well, this one's like 10 times cheaper, but there we are. Uh, throwback marquee matchups for a rare Electrum at the end of it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, premium Electrum, gold players pack, a 25k pack, and a prime Electrum. So, unfortunately, the rewards aren't amazing. They're using Spartak twice. So, they've got uh, Spartak Moscow... Uh, in there. They've also got Spartak Moscow in foot 13 as well. Not that you need to have a Spartak Moscow player, but just saying. Um, and, and that appears to be it, is it? Yeah, there's no um, throwback marquee moments. Unless they've dropped a player. There we go. Bergwin. Hey, that looks all right, doesn't it? So that's, that's a non-expiry one as well. So uh, I would imagine... Five-star weak foot. If it was five-star skills, I'd be all over it. As it stands, I probably won't do it unless... Although it's a Premier League player. I do like skills. That, I don't know. I'm a weird... I, I, I mean, I'm in two minds already without even looking at the price of this because I do need a right wing, and a Premier League right wing does actually fit into my, my team. However... Uh, because he doesn't have the five star skills, the the player that I'm currently using there does, and I do like to have that sort of ball roll flick option and, and so on and so forth. But um, as far as the card is concerned, forget about my team. As far as the card is concerned, it's all right. It's not as good as I thought it would be, though. I don't know what what's that missing. I don't know. Is it? Am I being an idiot there? Um, 85 agility could be better. Reactions could possibly be better. The composure could be better. I mean, he's got really good short passing vision. Balance is insane. The ball control dribbling itself are actually really good. The pace and sprint speed in general is just brilliant. Um, great shot power. Very underrated stat that, the shot power. Uh, finishing could be better. Long shots could be better. So, yeah, I mean, it's a decent card. I would imagine this is to be quite cheap, though, really. I mean, it can't be that expensive. Oh, um, okay. Uh, ooh, well, I mean, to be fair, you do get a really good pack back for it. That's rare for EA to actually give a pack that good. It's tradable as well. The Prime Mix, not so much, but the Mega Pack is a good pack. So you get 35k pack uh, back for it. I, I would like to have a little side-by-side -side comparison. That versus the current sort of best right wing to see if that actually stands up because i don't know i'm looking at it and there are a lot of really nice points the stamina is great the strength is fantastic uh, i do like the card actually i wouldn't mind completing it over time 
but I'm looking at it more of a, I don't know, there's something not quite fitting there with me. I don't know what it is. I do. I, it's a good card, though. I mean, skills are great. Weak foot's great. Could have a high attacking work rate. I, I think I'm just nitpicking, to be honest. I think that's a really good card. Um, the fact that that's there forever means, obviously, it's not going to be that difficult to complete. An 85-rated team is, is nothing over time. An 87-rated team, especially when you get 35k pack back, is fine. I don't mind that at all. I want to double-check... Um, objectives because yesterday they dropped the okay so we do have foot birthday weekend league i think we knew this was coming so if you win 10 foot champions matches you earn a player pick which could contain any team of the week player or team of the week moments and up until week 29 so of course we had team of the week all the way up until week 29 it stopped for a week or whatever it was it stopped in general. Then they introduced Team of the Week moments. So it could be any of the Team of the Week moments and, of course, Team of the Week up to 29. So that's a one of five. So it could be anyone. And then, of course, if you win 18, you get an 87 plus. And if you win 24, then you're insane at the game and you probably don't care about that pick in general. So uh, I think that's it. Obviously, the um, daily objective continues uh, for your completionist two. And yeah, uh, yesterday they dropped a Icon Moments player pick for a loan, uh, not for an actual Icon. They're not that generous, uh, but I, I I didn't notice that. Like, I, I recorded 6 o'clock, obviously, and I don't think it was there when I recorded it. Maybe they introduced it later. Maybe I just missed it because I'm stupid. I don't know. Uh, so Bergwin is showing up in, in all now, rather than just me having to go over to players. I, I do like it. I, I would like to know what the price of this is currently coming in at and if we can potentially compare it to other cards. But I do think it's good. And because it doesn't expire, I think it, it's even better on top of that. You know, there's something that doesn't sit quite right with me. And I think I'm just being an idiot. But I don't know. I, I do like it. And I do think it's worth it. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm not going to complete it. I may do it in a Road to Glory episode over time and for those of you who are missing the road to glory these six o'clock content videos when i'm on this account which i will be for the foreseeable doing these six o'clock contents you can basically take this as a road to glory episode it, i'm not going to label it as such because people wouldn't watch it but um it's basically a road to glory because you're kind of keeping up to date with what i'm doing uh now this sbc for foot 13 84 to 91 rated player let's get this done that was an absolute nightmare. It took me ages to complete that. I don't know why. I was trying not to use coins and I was trying to use certain cards in the club, I guess. But either way, that is a frustrating one. But it's done now. 84 to 91 guaranteed. That is team one done of marquee matchups. Very, very simple stuff. Just make sure you get the two rares in there and uh, the chemistry isn't that bad. To be fair, uh, 10 gold cards. I mean, I've just used Belgian League cards. You can use whatever you want, obviously. That is the second team complete. Very, very easy. Just linked in Golovin with the rest of the French League. Again, not a league that I'm completing in terms of League SBC anymore. I've knocked that on the, on the head now. I, I'm done with it, so I can start using the players. You only get a gold players pack, pack back for this which is a bit of a rip-off, really, because you're giving them three rares. I could probably have used that bronze as a rare, but, um, yeah, it's done now. It doesn't matter. I've gone full Bundesliga with the with the next team. And, again, I'm not using the Bundesliga anymore. The very few leagues that I'm actually doing League SBC method with now. Uh, Paderborn is just far too expensive. 25,000 coins a striker is absolutely ridiculous. So uh, I'm happy to give up my full Bundesliga for this. Uh, the, the max five nationalities is what took me a little while to sort of work out because I need to needed to make sure that I had enough of each and so on and so forth. But that's not too difficult. The rating on that one is probably what's going to get most people. But again, not too difficult. Two leagues. Had to use a couple more Spanish league players than I wanted to, but not too difficult. And there we go, 25k pack. So we've got some decent packs to open. I'm not really predicting that we're going to get anything good. In terms of Bergwin then, um, I have looked on the, on the market and I've tried to compare his card with a few others that are available to buy. The, the one that keeps sort of popping up and the one that keeps coming up in sort of filters is the Shapeshifter. Uh, Lucas, he is, or Lucas Mora, he's currently coming in at between 216 and 300k. This, uh, this Bergwin SBC is around 320 to 340, depending on your platform. So, 
Yeah, I mean, there are cards out there that, that can pay, sure. Uh, you've got the uh, shapeshifter Ben Yedder. You've got Nabry's Player of the Month. Politano's 89 upgrade isn't too far away in fairness. It's a good card. I know a lot of people will bash it because it doesn't have the uh, the agility that some of the other higher cards do. Um, oh, 85 agility, or oh, it's unusable. That's that's nonsense. It's still going to be. He's still going to feel super super fast. Uh, and of course, if you give him the uh, like a, a an a agility boost in terms of the chem style, so an artist or whatever, then you know you'll you'll have a, a nice, very very quick uh, player. The of course the the. The, not the problem, but the annoying thing about it is it's yet another right wing or right mid Premier League player. And if you're not keeping score, uh, they've released like 13, no exaggeration, about 13 or 14 um, right mid or right sided Premier League SBC cards, which is obviously a lot. <laughs> they could easily have released, uh, released him as a left wing or as a central player. Salvio is really nice. He might be going for a little bit right now. Um, I don't mind selling him on actually because I mean I'll just take 900 coins for him that's not too bad at all uh, West Ham right mid and they may go for a little bit I doubt they will keep those get rid of him keep him and we'll move on I'll, I'll deal with those in my own time but there's definitely arguments to be to be had or to be made for yes he's worth it no he's not so I think what we're going to chalk it down to is if he fits your team and you're happy to complete it yeah why not get it done if you don't like it leave it alone it's as, honestly it's as simple as that you can't really get um, more black and white than that if, if he's if he's for you sure if he's not don't worry about it doesn't affect you um, for me personally does fit in my team and I'm not doing it strictly because he doesn't have five star skills that's not the reason why I'm not doing it but if yeah he he just he just I don't know he just doesn't do it for me basically I'd, I I would rather save my high rated cards and my coins for something that I really want to complete, you know. These packs so far have been dreadful. I say that, they're not been that bad. We've, we've picked up a couple of decent cards here or there that will sell for a few thousand coins. Uh, he's some, for some reason selling for a little bit above normal. About a thousand coins for him. I doubt this guy's worth anything in the Austrian league. I mean, he might be because he's a rare, but not that bothered. Uh, should we do... Let's do the Prime Electrum. I do like a Prime Electrum. I won't lie to you. I, um, I'm i a big fan. And there's there's a board. There's there's some evidence right there. It's not a walkout, but we need to build up to that. We can't just... Oh, God. It's going to be summer, isn't it? At least be Berkey. It's always summer. I pack this guy at least three times a day. And I only open, like, two packs. I pack him all the time. Uh, not too bad there. We'll, we'll keep him. At least he's tradable. I always pack him untradable, so there's that. Oh, cool. He's... um. He's going for a little bit because he's a, a, a athletic uh, club card. See if I can get 2.5k for him. Just get him gone really quickly. He might go for a little bit. I started panicking then. I didn't have a clue what I was saying. It was like, am I speaking English? Not sure. Uh, let's get rid of that. We've got three packs remaining. We do. 25k pack, rear Electrum, and an 84 to 91. Let's do the 84 to 91 because if we pack anything out of the other two, at least it's tradable. This is obviously going to be a board. Can we get ourselves a walkout? No. So... There we go. Uh, it would be much better if it wasn't capped, really. I think, um, I mean, that's a not a not a common 84, but still, still an 84, still the the, the bare minimum. But um, yeah, it would be nice if it wasn't capped at a 91. I think we might have had a bit more luck there. But uh, I, I'm about 9k down at the moment from everything that I've I've bought and spent and all the rest of it. That's not going to be a board out of the 25k, which is a shame. It all comes down to the rare Electrum. Loads of uh, non-dupes in there, but unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be anything we can really make our money on. So in terms of Bergwin, is he worth it? I think for a lot of people, he will be. Uh, but if he, if you don't personally think he's, he's worth it, then don't worry about it. But he's got crazy good strength, really good on the ball. He's very, very quick. He's got that five-star weak foot. I think it's a... I think it's decent, and the fact that it's just a non-expiry as well, so you can complete it literally um, whenever you want and ha take however long you want as well, I think that's the, the, the best thing about this card. If it was there for like four days, I'd be hearing on the side of maybe not bothered, but honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. Let's end this video then with a rear Electrum and, I don't know, Mbappe or something. Yeah, it's a board. Ah, it's not a walkout. Well, there we go. We got a, we got a few boards. It's going to be 
Uh, Adrissa Gay. I, you know, I never packed that. I, I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue it was because I never packed him. But there we are. We've got Adrissa Gay in that uh, rare Electrum. So I probably will just about make my money back on everything that I've spent to... Uh, oh, there we go. 283s. Definitely made my money back. Um, but unfortunately, we're still looking for that big pull. Let me know what you think of Bergwin or big, big, big wine, big win in the comment section down below. If you're going to do it, if you're not going to do it, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.